Thank you, Kaylin. So what can a dragonfly fossil tell us about what life was like in New Brunswick more than 300 million years ago? Researchers are working on the answer thanks in part to a recent find by a father, son and best friend. As CTV's Laura Lyle reports, it's not the only impressive discovery made by the citizen scientists. Matt Stimson of the New Brunswick Museum shows off a sampling of the hundreds of fossils in their collection that have been discovered by two teenage citizen scientists. They've been reading, they've been studying, uh, they've been taking very detailed field notes. Uh, it's not just a treasure hunt for them, they're actually documenting their discoveries, which is very unique. Rowan Norad and Luke Allen are high schoolers from Halifax, best friends with a shared passion for paleontology, a passion that recently paid off in the find of a lifetime in the area of Grand Lake, New Brunswick, with Rowan's father, Donald. It's a lot of luck, to be honest. Um, it's spending a long time out in the field, flipping over a ton of rocks, checking all of them thoroughly. Um, we just happened to flip over the, the right rock at the right time to get this amazing find. That find is a fossil of a dragonfly wing dating back more than 300 million years. This one is a, a single wing. It's the hind wing, about 10 centimeters in length. So if you add a little bit for the body and a second set of wings on the other side, it probably has a wingspan of about 25 centimeters. Plants and even traces are among the most common fossils found, but finding any sort of body fossil, so a wing or part of a skeleton, are extremely rare. A rare and important discovery for researchers to learn more about what life was like. The fossil has been sent to the National Museum of Natural History in Paris for further study. And there's not a lot found in Atlantic Canada. There's very few uh, dragonfly wings actually found. So um, whatever the research comes up as, it's a super interesting, super cool find no matter what. And since these two have already proven they leave no stone unturned, we're excited to see what they unearth next. Laura Lyle, CTV News, St. John.